this is a comparison video between the Cleary Gecko and my son's new spawn Yoji. This, I shouldn't say was his first bike. He had a giant Pre before this, which was basically a balance bike. I'll do a separate review on that, but that's what got this all started, so I highly recommend that. This bicycle I picked for a number of reasons. Most of the bicycles on the market do not have a freewheel option, so you can't spin this. I know most of you probably realize this, but this goes backwards, okay? On a typical bike, whether it's a Cannondale, Trek, um, obviously the ones you get from a mass store tend to have coaster brakes. So you can't teach them proper technique in terms of getting on top of their pedals and keeping them level going down a hill with the coaster brake because they'll end up braking automatically and I didn't want that. I also wanted them to get used to hand brakes right away. So because the goal is to get them to ride a bike properly. I didn't want them to learn how to ride a bike with coaster brakes, without hand brakes, learning port technique, and then having to learn that when I was like, all right, let me get them a, a real bike. And now it's another learning curve. I wanted to avoid that and get them learning properly from the get-go. And this was a tough find. I think these come out of Canada. Um, but it's a great bike. I'm debating whether I should sell it or keep it because it's really his first pedal bike. So it's really nice, cool little seat. It doesn't have rails that go forwards and backwards. Uh, it just is what it is. The back, they are a single speed, not a, uh, there's no gears obviously on these bikes. I think it's a two point. <laughs> One, two, five, uh, 12, two and a quarter. Um, this is what it is. So two and a quarter, this is a 1.9. But honestly, they're the same size. I could literally probably measure them with my calipers, but they're pretty much the same size. So at first that was, I was thinking that would be a draw back to the spawn, but it really isn't. And the treads are pretty aggressive and from the pattern on them, they seem to roll well, and I don't know if it's my imagination, but my son is way faster on this spawn. I don't know if it's because the cranks are longer, um, maybe he has better efficiency because the handlebars are much higher for him, but that is kind of one of my things. I, 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 I may just end up getting flat bars for now, and then switch him to these as he gets uh, taller because he is on the shorter side right now. I don't even think he's at the recommended inseam height for this bike, but he's still got some seat posts showing through. So there's room there, which is pretty amazing. Obviously, on that Cleary, he's got even more seat posts showing. I think they have the same brakes, they're both the Tektro brakes, they look the same. Um, they look like the same V brakes, which uh, minor. Oh, that's probably why he's getting better braking efficiency. Maybe because of the bigger bike. These are taller. I just noticed that than these. These are much shorter. So I've noticed that he seems to have more power braking with these. I thought it was maybe just because the cables were newer, but I just noticed that they are a slightly different design than the other ones. I like the uh, stem on this thing. I like the way we have little branded things. It's kind of cool. The front end's pretty cool too. Spawn. A little evil for your evil one. Graphics on the side. Pretty cool as well. Cranks. Let's say spawn on them also. Very cool. Spawn cycles. Even the tires. Be totally honest. Oh, 
A lot of cool things about this bike. This seat is pretty killer. First thing I noticed when I opened it up and started putting it together. So putting it together was interesting. I didn't like um, how far in these were, so I pushed them towards the middle more. So now you can eventually learn to do it with one finger or two fingers. Hopefully, we'll see. That's your born to ride. I don't know what it says there. It says spawn Yoji. That's it. I don't know if you could see it. So, kind of like the grips on the Cleary. This is kind of cool. It keeps our hands positioned inside, it seems. Um, it's just a really cool bike also. I mean, this is a steel bike. Um, steel, pretty much everything. This is an aluminum frame. Everything else is steel. The fork is steel, which I wasn't expecting. The handlebars are steel. Um, but, really cool bike. I mean, I can't, there's not much to knock on it. Alright, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll do a follow-up video as London gets out and rides more. See you later, guys and girls.